United Nations Security Council meeting today to talk about North Korea and its recent missile test. CBS4's Elliot Rodriguez joins us now with more on what happened. Elliot. Well, Rick, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is backing away from his previous comments not to set preconditions for talks with North Korea. He made his case today at the United Nations on the same day that North Korea's U.N. ambassador also made a rare appearance before the Security Council. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson addressed the U.N. Security Council on what he calls the greatest threat to U.S. national security, North Korea. Our message today is one that this body has heard before and one that we will continue to repeat. The United States will not allow the regime in Pyongyang to hold the world hostage. Last month, North Korea launched a ballistic missile into waters near Japan, but experts say it had the capacity to reach anywhere in the United States. It was one of at least 20 ballistic missile launches North Korea conducted over the past year. We believe that more can and must be done beyond enforcing the minimum requirements of the Security Council resolutions. Tillerson called on both Russia and China to increase pressure on North Korea. He says Russia is helping to pay for North Korea's nuclear program and China is providing the country with oil. Earlier this week, Tillerson said the U.S. would be willing to start diplomatic talks with North Korea without preconditions, but the White House dismissed the offer, saying talks can only take place after North Korea stops provoking its neighbors and takes sincere and meaningful steps toward denuclearization. Now Tillerson is setting a precondition. As I said earlier this week, a sustained cessation of North Korea's threatening behavior must occur before talks can begin. North Korea's ambassador to the U.N. said it's disturbing to see the Security Council acting like a tool of the United States. He went on to say his country is a responsible nuclear power, a peace-loving state, he says, and that the U.S. is just terrified by his country's incredible might. Well, Tillerson said the U.S. will use all measures necessary to defend itself against North Korea, but that diplomacy is still his first choice.